Oh, hi guys, my hair again. Right, okay, I'm gonna do the video which I was trying to get out of doing, i.e. the uh, the demo of this thing, the DMX control, this is DMX 55 from Chauvet. Um, I was kind of hoping I could have got out of it. Um, I was hoping Brian would have done it. But they're busy guys, Jonathan and Brian, you know. They have to demo all this gear they get. They have to go out, you know, doing like promotions, you know, sipping free champagne with all the celebrities, etc. So, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been reading the manual on it, brushing up on it, and I guess, you know, I'll give you that demo. But I'm not just going to do the demo on the DMX55 because a few people have asked me, which route do we go down? Do we buy one of these? A mini controller. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this video probably in two parts. I'm going to show you what the mini controller can do for you, what lights you can link together, what kind of lights you can link together, what kind of lights you can't link together, and uh, show you how to do it. And then I'll do one on the old DMX controller, and I'll probably go into a little bit of depth about what DMX is actually about, because some of you guys, like me 12 months ago, really didn't know diddly squat about DMX so we'll do that anyway I'll pause the camera I'm just gonna get back to reading uh, this again and uh, I'll take you through it all okay then so we'll start this off by looking at a mini controller this is a CA8 from Prolight it works with most of their lights uh, and also all of the Chauvet lights and American DJ lights Right, what can and what can't you do with this controller? What what kind of lights can you use? Well, obviously, you'd probably start off with one that it's designed for. I, this is a Dyna Twin from ProLight ACME. On the back there, I don't know if you can see that, I'll just stand up. You have an input for your controller. So, if I take the end of this, that will fit perfectly. There we go, into there. So now, using this, I've got an element of control over this particular light. I can either put it into standby, uh, take it out of standby, I can strobe it, or I can decide which particular one of the gobos I want it to use, what kind of pattern I want it to project. Right, that's okay, but that's just one light, yeah? So what can you link this light to? Now you're probably asking, I've been asked this, can I link it to something like this? Which is the Cam Star Cluster. No, not at all, forget it. Can I link it to LED lighting? This is also an ACME Pro Light light. It also again has an input there on the back for a mini controller, the same mini controller that uh, that this one uses, CA8. The answer is no, you can't, because the programs with inside these lights are so radically different from one another, it's just going to cause chaos. Okay, so what lights can you link together? Now the obvious choice here is if you've got one of these already, I you marvelled. Uh, You've got your usual gubbins on the back there, DMX uh, output and input down there, and of course the uh, the input for the controller. Now, if you have another marvelled, I like that, yay, you can link them two together and it will work perfectly, not a problem. The other circumstance that you can uh, use the controller with more than one light is if you've got two. I'll just let that bolt settle down. If you've got two lights that are very, very similar, i.e. I've already shown you the Dyna Twin. Now if I wanted to link that to this light, which is actually a Dyna Roll from the same company, the likelihood is that it will work because the programming inside this unit is going to be very similar to the programming inside this unit does that make sense just bear in mind you always need to go to your manufacturer's website and check 
which lights can be linked together using that mini controller. But like I've said, the likelihood is if you've got two very similar lights from the same company, it will work. But always check, don't take my word for it. Right, I'm going to uh, pause the camera, I'm going to hook a couple of these lights up, I'm gonna, just going to show you the kind of control that you'll have over these lights if you link them together. Okay chaps, so I've got two of the lights up on the T-bar, what I'm using here is a Pro-Lite Dynaroll, like I showed you before, and a Dyna Twin. I say these are two different lights, but they're not radically different from each other, they do the same thing, they've got the same gobos in them, Literally the only difference is one's using flat mirrors to project the pattern, to project the image that's coming from the gobos and the other one is using a, a, a mirrored barrel to project exactly the same pattern. So theoretically you would think there's going to be a similar program inside each of these two lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this thing, I'm just going to spin it around and I shall zoom in just one sec. I'm going to take the controller, I'm going to plug it in to this light here. This is the, uh, the Dynaroll. Input there, plugs in. All's good. That is now controlling that particular light. The only other thing we need is a short length of DMX cable. Um, DMX cable, microphone cable, there literally is no difference. You can use either mic. So I go out of the DMX out, like such, if it goes in, and put the other end into the input of the second light, which is the DynaScan. going to very briefly show you what these three buttons do. Your top button is what's known as a standby button, so when I press this one, any light that's rigged into the master light, the one I've actually plugged this controller into, will theoretically turn off and we will be left in total darkness. So I'm going to press that one now. Lo and behold, everything goes off, all is dark. Now that's an extremely good function to have, because bear in mind you don't just have to have two lights rigged together, you can have two, three, four, five, six lights rigged together. Now, if you're wanting to create a different kind of ambiance for the particular type of music you're playing at that point in the evening, it's great, you can turn a whole bank of lights off, set some others going, it changes the mood. Also, if if you're doing a wedding, for example, or a birthday party, somebody's wanted to make a speech of some variety, you can turn that bank of lights off. Or if you're using more than one of these controllers for different sets of banks of lights, you can turn them all off. So, you know, they've got a bit of space to, uh, to get their point across, to have their little bit of a speech for the evening. Right, second button down, this is called the function button. This generally will strobe all the lights that are connected to the master unit. We'll try that one out now. I hold the button down and there you go, the strobing. I'll release that in its own time, it'll come back. There we go, we're back into the normal, the normal mode of the lights there. Right, your third button down, this is known as the mode button. Now, what this does, if you press this, it should theoretically hold the pattern that's been used and when I press this button, so we're on blue, I am actually now cycling through, I'll move out of the way so you can see, I'm actually cycling through the gobos. Okay people, so what we've been looking at in this video is the uh, mini lighting controller there. We've, uh, we've linked together a chain of lights, well in this video I've only linked two together, but uh, like I've said you can link well, an infinite amount together, as long as they're all compatible with the controller. You need to check the manufacturer's website for your lighting to find out which controllers are compatible with which lights and which ones can be or cannot be linked together. If you're wanting control over each individual light, rather than just using one of these, which uh, will cause everything in that chain to do exactly the same thing, you need to be looking at my second video, which is going to be a follow-up 
to this one and that one's going to be regarding DMX desk, DMX proper DMX controllers which is going to give you a hell of a lot more flexibility over your lighting but like I say this is a very low cost option these cost 25 quid which is what $35 which is nothing when you start looking at DMX desks you're talking £70, £100, £150 it's a little more expensive and it does take a bit more time setting up but I'll show you that in the next video